Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Did you notice that um, I don't know, in the past about 70 years or so, as mostly, I would say 99% of the time, is only one country, one entity that always lectures ethically, morally, everybody else? Now I know Canada is trying to catch up with Trudeau. But uh, it's always, almost always been the United States of America telling other countries that you're not doing that right, uh, you're not, uh, your the human rights is not respected over there, the minorities' rights are not respected, you don't do this, you don't do, but we are good, we are the good, you know, like in Plato's uh, uh, Republic, you know, the cave analogy over there, the, uh, you know, uh, it was not an analogy, what was, it? Al allegory, I'm sorry, allegory of the cave, no, the good, which was the sun, it seems like the United States of America somehow uh, de uh, determined that it is the sun. So, unfortunately for the interests behind the United States of America, they are dealing with India. Now, India is no garbage. India is India. 1.5 uh, billion people or more has an economy, is a democracy, has an history, has a culture, has a civilization. You don't deal with India as you deal with uh, okay, I'm not gonna say. I can I have a long list. So what happens? The Americans don't like India's foreign policy, which is buying Russian oil, gas, and selling it on the market and so on. Why? As my very good friend, uh, the Foreign Minister of, or of uh, India, Dr. Jay Shankar said, well, uh, it's India's interest. It, if, if it works for us, who are you to tell us? All right? So, India has balls and these guys cannot crack them yet. So what's happening right now? The Americans criticize a citizenship law from India. So the Indians, internal affairs, they uh, make laws, you know, they have a system, they elect officials, the officials make laws, they vote and they, they implement vote, the, the, the law. No, they made a law the United States of America disagrees with. And guess what India does? Says you. Well, it's not, I mean, these guys are always sticking their fucking nose in everybody else's business. The problem is, if they stick their nose in the Romanian business, they can do it, but in India, not so much. Why? Because India has the capability to say, fuck off. All right, let's read this little article. Russia Today. India snaps back at US over citizenship law concerns. They're always concerned. You know, I'm always concerned with your behavior. That's why I will tell you what to do because I'm mommy and daddy in the same time. And what are you supposed to do? The, just, you know, do that what you do best. New Delhi has dismissed the White House's concerns over its citizenship law as lectures. Say it ain't so. India's foreign ministry, Mr. Jai Shankar, Dr. Jai Shankar, dismisses the US State Department's expressed concerns over a new citizenship law on Friday, terming them, and I'm quoting, now listen to these uh, strong statements or words, misplaced, misinformed and unwarranted. First, misplaced. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. The same with misinformed and unwarranted. We don't care about it. Go and plimba ursu, as in Romanian would say. You know, go around and clean your room. India Citizenship Amendment Act, CAA, halves the residence requirement for undocumented migrants from Hindu, Sikh, Buddhist, Jain, Parsi and Christian communities in Afghanistan, Bangladesh or Pakistan who entered India on or before December 31st, 2014. The new law officially took effect earlier this week and an online portal was opened for eligible persons to apply for citizenship. Now that's their business. Now I want to ask you something. This fucking thing undocumented. Now if I, let's say, don't have a, uh, a driver's license, where am I? Am I an undocumented? Let's say the police or an ID. I don't know. I lost it. And a police officer uh, stops me and say, Hey, Gigi, who are you? I say, My name is Tom Jones, right here. Okay, uh, can you pro produce a, an identification? Uh, no. That means I'm undocumented. Am I illegal or undocumented? I'm not illegal. I'm just, I'm, I don't have documents. So when they say undocumented, for instance, with these guys who cross the border, they're not 
undocumented. They're illegally trespassing on someone else's turf, right? So undocumented, I can be undocumented, undocumented, but not illegal, unless I go into the Capitol uh, building and uh, I'm going over there trespassing. Then I'm illegally, my presence is illegal on that, on those premises. So let's go back to these guys, see what else they say. And I'm quoting the strong Indians. And I'm not doing this to smack the American public, but these guys in charge of the American public, they smack you when they don't like you doing. They apply the same rule. Somehow they're mommy and daddy, okay? And I'm sick of that because I lived under the communist system. And that's exactly what they did. In the name of the good, their good, they tell you how to live your life, like you don't know how to live your life. It is true, there are some people over there who don't know how to fucking live their lives. They're baboons, right? Like 98% of our population, not you and I. We're the geniuses here, okay? But anyway, I had to break that here. I'm quoting the Indians, the real Indians. Lectures by those who have a limited, nicely put, understanding of India's pluralistic traditions and the region's post-Partian history, that is, when you fucked up into, are best not attempted. All right? Ranthir Jaishwal, a spokesman, I think she's a man, uh, I would say, for the Ministry of External Affairs said during a briefing in New Delhi. India's statement came hours after U.S. motherfucker State Department spokesperson, yeah, you're a person, Matthew Miller, go and check his freaking uh, bio, said Washington was Washington was, and I'm quoting, closely monitoring the baby India because they need it, because they don't know what the fuck is going on. The new law out of concern over how it will be implemented. Oh, isn't that so much care? Miller was responding to a report's question on whether the CAA could affect religious freedoms in India. And I'm quoting, the constitution guarantees freedoms of religion to all Indians. New Delhi spokesperson asser asserted, there are no grounds for any concern on treatment of minorities. Well, why don't you stay the fuck out? How about that one? Now, I think that in each country uh, you know, or family, um, the, they, they could implement, come up with uh, policies, uh, laws that fit their own system. Now, if things go in a certain direction or another direction in that family, it's not another family is across, across on the other side of the globe telling the other guy, we're concerned. Do you think that India could not have concerns about the Americans? American society? Don't you think? Like, I don't know, certain kind of people uh, participating in certain kind of sports and destroying everybody's records? Don't you think? No? Mm -mm -mm. They can have a lot of concerns, but they say, well, that's your internal shit. You can be, you know, garbage over there, as we can be garbage over here. But it seems like and you tell me what other countries point their fingers at everybody else and they have to intervene out of goodness, concern for your safety, your well-being. It's only one country 99.9% .9 of the time. So when you're not, when they want to create shit in your country, they will say, well, you violate, I know, the flies right to land on shit. Oh my God, you violate the flies. And they suck shit. The same. They can talk, they can, but have you heard anybody else talking to the Americans in the same way the Americans are talking to them? And then why is, that, why is not that happening? Because they're afraid. They're afraid of what? Repercussions. So my friends, good job India. Be independent. Be strong. Follow your own path. You have your own path as any other country on this planet should. And forget about these uh, moralistic uh, lecturers like Trudeau and other garbage. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.